but to get into here, if you're wanting to add additional lighting, this area here would probably be what I would say would be the best place to put another light. So the panel that goes across here, it just actually pulls up and then it kind of slides in on each side. So when you pull up one side, you kind of pull it off of there and then keep pulling, it'll slide off of there. Inside of there is a Torx T25 screw that holds that on. And once that's off, all of these can just basically be popped out of there. And of course the weather stripping can be pulled back if you need. And then up in the top here is a Phillips screw that's behind a rubber cap. Just pry the rubber cap off. There's the rubber cap, and there's the pry tool I used. And once that screw is out, then this panel here will pop down. And uh, you see the wiring in there. It's the yellow one with the purple that is the power to the light when the door is open. So I have to say, it's not bright enough. Uh, it seems to be a problem with this actual type and brand of light strip because I've had the same issue now. I've installed a, you know, about a 10 pack, so I'm basically kind of stuck with them. But every application I've used it on, it's not been bright enough. So I'll probably end up replacing that, but for now at least the wiring is in place and uh, all I'd have to do is switch out the uh, you know, whatever type of light I use and the other issue I ran into is despite cleaning this with alcohol it didn't want to stick so I ended up having to use a spray adhesive and that was kind of messy even my best efforts to mask it off I still had to come back in and try to clean some of the glue off the edges so Try to avoid that if you can. But anyway, that's basically the technique to add lighting and you just need to figure out what lights you want to add and where you want to add them to because I can tell you this area is really dark at night having the black carpet and not very bright lighting.